Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and today so I'll be discussing some preparation questions revision uh, uh, for uh, the for this subject so Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and today so today I'll be discussing uh, preparations for uh, questions that you will be faced in your uh, exams so these are some of the examples of uh, types of questions that you'll be uh, that you'll be uh, uh, you'll be uh, experiencing in the exam. Okay. So uh, the first is uh, simple about uh, discussing characteristics of, uh, characteristics of materials below. So for example, metal. I think it's pretty simple. You can uh, if you reflect back on your. Uh, previous uh, study in materials engineering uh, and some of the topics that we we'll discuss in the subject so for example like metal it has a uh, high strength uh, high yield uh, characteristics it is uh, able to it has uh, able to uh, deform uh, elastically and then it can uh, deform plastically before failure and it's mainly uh, consists of uh, metallic atoms Okay, and next is for polymers. Uh, they uh, they have high uh, yield or high elastic properties, but low strength. Okay, and it's a consist of polymer chains, for example. And composites are materials that has that comes from uh, two uh, distinct materials. Okay, and it has uh, the properties uh, uh, of both the matrix and also the reinforcements. It means it has a uh, high strength and uh, but low uh, yield properties and uh, for ceramics the same as a uh, composite that has high strength very high strength uh, fairly in brittle uh, mode uh, and very low yield properties okay uh, next uh, for uh, steps to do material selection is that we first we start with the uh, marker which are requirements and then uh, we move on to concept and then embodiment okay developing from the concept that we did and then detailing out the, the embodiments and finally the product situation which is would be the the information that we translated next uh, explain the form selection material selection translation table i've already discussed this so you just uh, refer to the our lecture notes about what are the the uh, what is what is defined by function what is defined by constraints what are defined by uh, objective and what is defined by uh, free variables. And next, this question is regarding the uh, material is required for winding of electric air furnace capable of temperature up to 1000 degrees centigrade. Think out what attributes a material must have it is to be made into windings and function properly in a furnace. This the function and constraints and the objective to minimize cost of the free variables to choice of material. So, if the material is to be used as winding, it must be able to be drawn to be uh, as wired. Because the material comes from a block or, or a sheet form or a larger rod form, so you can uh, it has to be drawn into a smaller dimension and then wound to a coil requiring ductility. And it must conduct electricity, okay? It must be electrically con uh, conductive and must be able to operate at 1000 degrees centigrade in air. And the constraints are tabulated below, okay? So we make a translation table one is the function high temperature uh, furnace winding. The constraints, the base temperature must be more than 1000 degrees centigrade, uh, able to be rolled or drawn to uh, to wire form, a good electrical uh, conductor or electrical, electrically conductive, uh, some that so that it can be wound, which is the uh, the strain, the failure is more than 2%, and then it has good resistance to oxidation at ele elevated temperature. So the objective is mentioned that we minimize material cost and the free purpose as the choice material. So you just need to create the translation table. Next question is uh, if you want to uh, manufacture office scissors. So paper is an abrasive material and scissors sometimes encounter hard obstacles like staples. List function constraints set the objective to minimize material price and the free variables to choice of material. Okay. So the answer to resist abrasive wear, the scissors must have blades of high hardness in cutting. They will sooner or later encounter a staple or hard or other hard obstruction that would chip a better blade some toughness is required so these two parameters have reduced wear 
but there are other factors that influence it so it is sensible to specify good wear resistance because uh, a scissor must be have a good abrasive resistance because it wants to uh, uh, the, the cutting action is abrasive with the paper when the scissor must be formed if the handles are integral with the plate they must be forged or stepped from sheet and we can be processed in this way so we just create the translation table the function as scissors function as high hardness to uh, to uh, overcome the abrasive material of uh, the abrasive properties of paper and adequate toughness which is the k1c the fracture toughness more than 15 megapascal uh, square root meter and has good wear resistance and then able to be forged okay because of the blades has to be able to be forged and objective is uh, we have minimized the material cost and the free variables as the choice of materials and then last uh, question is for a motorcycle helmet visor okay this example is important to protect the rider's face during riding due to wind it also helps with allowing clear vision and protecting the face from front sides and below it has to be double curved meaning it is able to be molded and since it protects the rider's face it also must be shatterproof so prepare the translation table okay first we start off with the function you can put here visor or motorcycle helmet visor Okay, and constraints must has be, it must be transparent okay for clear vision uh, moldable because we want to be able to be uh, doubly curved okay and then of course doubly curved and also shutter proof the objective is to maximize fracture, fracture toughness because we don't want the visor to uh, fail uh, in brittle mode okay then and then uh, risk of endangering the rider so you must have uh, the very high fracture toughness with even small cracks it can resist the crack propagation three variables is the choice of materials okay so uh, based on the materials provided in the table below refer to the csl pack software so you can identify these are the provided materials so you can check the properties on in the software okay which are of all the six materials which materials that are potentially uh, possible for uh, to be used as the motorcycle helmet visor uh, is it uh, polycarbonate uh, polymethyl acrylate uh, cellulose acetate solar lime glass or polypropylene and based on the selection of possible materials construct a selection method by taking on the three most important criteria which is the our transparency uh, moldable and also shatterproof which is the fracture toughness so choose between the what are the three possible materials and you select uh, make a selection matrix uh, what are the characteristics of uh, the three uh, possible materials and uh, what are the points uh, range of points of the of the materials in the, in the three properties are important and finally provide one justification so you can check from the csd pack which of the three uh, the final three materials that you chose and then what are the uh, what which one is the uh, best uh, material that is the best possible candidate to that meet those all those three properties so that is all for the uh, example questions. Okay, so uh, you can have you can just comments in the in the video and also you can also text me or in the chat whether or not if you have or if you want more uh, explanation for the uh, answers of the questions. So that's all. Thank you very much and have a good day.